Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and today we're going to talk about Game Engine Asset Stores, more specifically about Godot, but first we're going to talk about its competition. Now one of the biggest advantages that the Unity Game Engine has, and always had, was their Asset Store. They have by far and away the largest Asset Store of any of the Game Engines out there, and it gives you the ability to just basically get any system that you need and you don't necessarily have to create it yourself. It's a very lovely experience to be able to just pick up the pieces that you need. Of course, you got to worry about things like, you know, being a little bit too asset flippy, etc. But having this asset store has been a huge boon for Unity developers. And of course, it's created an ecosystem where Unity content creators can create and sell their own content. And of course, Epic Games noticed this. They created their Unreal Engine Marketplace, which more recently they rebranded as Fab. And the interesting thing about Fab is it is going multi-game engine. Part of that is because they absorb Sketchfab into the fold, uh, but in general, you can see that Epic Games really want to be like the universal provider of the future metaverse, and that is where they're going with Fab. Right now, they have Unity and Unreal Engine, but it has been discussed that Godot is on the horizon. So, uh, the Godot Foundation really need to move quick on this one because it could turn out that the best store for Godot assets end up being Fab, which would be kind of crazy. So finally, we do have an update. Godot have been working on this for quite a while, and we now have the beta launch of the Godot Asset Store. Very limited at this point in time. It's beta, it is under heavy development, uh, and you can see here all of the contents on it right now are free. So there's nothing being sold here yet. Uh, I know some of you probably like the idea of 100% free, but honestly, having the ability for people to sell in the ecosystem brings in high quality content and it's a boon for everyone. So I know you like free, but commercial sales of assets is also a very good thing. So right here you're seeing there is very little here. So let's, uh, let's see if there's even 96 full assets here. No. So right now, this is basically just a skeleton of what the store is going to be all about. So let's say I want to get Terra Brush. I click here and it brings me to details of it. You can link into a video of it or screenshots of it, a little overview of it. Generally, I think this is being pulled from the uh, readme from the GitHub repository. Speaking of which, there are links over to the GitHub right here. Uh, also, you can see easily what licenses it's under, and you can uh, go ahead and download it here. You can also go ahead and add it to your library like so. Then you'll find in your library all of the things that you have either bought or got for free, and you have the ability to review items, which is nice. So right now, no reviews obviously going on. So that is very early days for this store. There's not a lot there. And you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute. Isn't there already an asset store of sorts for the Godot game engine? And yeah, there is. Uh, we have the asset library, uh, which is what ultimately is going to be replaced. So right now, this is actually available inside of Godot as well. In addition to here, this is what you use right now. Uh, everything on here, I do believe, has to be open source and obviously non-commercial. So that is where Godot Asset Store is ultimately going to be. It's going to take over for the asset library, but also add the ability to sell assets on top of that. Uh, so we do have a bit of a roadmap of things that they are looking to develop. They're going to be adding better search. Uh, so search by strings, filter by some licenses, rank, uh, last update, creation date, and so on. Uh, drag and draw to install. So you'll be able to drag and draw up an asset from the browser to their editor and easily install it into your project. So basically you would come over here, click the asset you want, and just drag it into Godot to install it. Uh, you'll be able to buy and sell assets. Of course, that is the big thing at the end of the day that people will be able to have a commercial space around Godot. So they're going to replace the asset library as the first step. Uh, and then once they're happy with the new platform, they'll start rolling out paid assets. To this, they are going to work with a certain group of asset creators, help us to iron out all the features necessary for them to operate similarly to other platforms. Once we are happy about it, we will start offering the option to charge for assets published in the store to everyone. On top of that, they also have the asset store CLI or command line interface, allow you to upload and manage your assets from the terminal. This will be useful for those of you who want to automate their workflow and push new builds with systems like GitHub Actions. Uh, they're going to have analytics there. Right now, it's very, very basic what they're going to have there, but you're going to be able to get uh, more access in your admin panel. So it's how much people look at it, how much it's downloaded, that kind of thing. Uh, better notifications, abstract review counts. So only showing you the amount of upvotes and downvotes an asset has. Ideally, we would have a system similar to the Steam's review score, which would better reflect the quality of the assets. And a discovery system uh, that's important to any online store, frankly. And then a mobile view of the store. And then some of the 
this is going to integrate into Godot. Like what we have right now, the asset library is integrated into Godot as a tab. They're going to ultimately deprecate the current asset library and replace it with the Godot asset store going forward. On top of that, global add-ons. This one is a big one. Uh, so you can actually have it go for all of your installs, not just a single one. So if you have a set of plugins or add-ons that you install all the time into Godot, you can basically set put all of these into your project, which is nice. I'd also like to see the ability to define versions of Godot pre-configured with add-ons for other people. That way you could create like more easy to use or turnkey installs of Godot with things like maybe visual scripting or terrain systems, etc. installed. But maybe I'm just wish casting at this point in time. Uh, also gonna have better GDScript and C-sharp interoperability. Uh, so you download a particular version of Godot, make a wrapper to access some of the functionality provided by that plugin. Ideal scenario would be people would be able to download a single version of Godot and the plugin would be accessible from any supported language. And then they're going to look at implementing an asset updater as well. So literally right now, very, very little to pay attention to. By the way, this store is not the only um, game in town. The big thing is that it is run by the Godot Foundation. So uh, I'm assuming that also means that all of the profits from it will go to Godot's development. Uh, but there are other options out there. Again, you do have the Godot Asset Library. This is the existing system that will ultimately be replaced by the Godot Asset Store once it has matured enough. Uh, on top of that, and I have no experience with any of these, by the way, I'm just letting you know about them so that you know that they exist. We also have the Godot AL, uh, an open source project for uh, you know, AL, Asset Library. Same kind of concept, but um, just a different presentation of them. Uh, and yeah, so there, this one is available as well. Cool thing is you do have things like shaders in here. It's actually a nice little site. And then on top of that, we have Godot for Assets, which seems to be a commercial asset store uh, in Euro uh, with VAT charged. So if you do want a place to sell, you can sell here. I'm not sure uh, how many authors these guys actually have going on right now. Again, I am not endorsing any of these products. I have never used them. Uh, and this will be commercial with the money going to... Uh, this people instead of going back to Godot. So there is that. And then we also have the Godot marketplace available as well. Same basic concept. You do have the ability to sell assets on here for Godot, um, seemingly powered by PayPal, etc. And again, you have the same issue, but in this case, 10% of revenue is donated to Godot, uh, which is kind of nice. So uh, that is where we are at today. We also have the Godot asset store. So if you're interested in any of these, that one is available at GodotAssetStore.org. Uh, then we've got the GodotMarketplace.com. We have AssetsForGodot.com and the Godot Asset Library on top of, of course, the Godot Engine forward slash asset dash library. But the big thing that we were talking about today is not the Unity Asset Store. It is the Godot Asset Store. So again, very early on, almost no assets on there, but Duke gives you the ability to check it out, to play with it, to filter with the categories, see what you think of what's going on. And if there is a bug or an issue, you can report it into their issue tracker. Uh, but the big thing here is ultimately their roadmap, where they intend to go with this. All right, so let me know what you think. Do you like the idea of a commercial Godot asset store? Do you think this is a good idea, a bad idea? Do you use any of the others that are available today? All that, let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.